in this section we are going to learn how to understand the interface of civil 3d so when you open the drawing and open a file you will get this kind of interface in the civil 3d version whatever the civil 3d version you are using so i have already opened this sample drawing and also i have created a civil 3d point on this drawing to uh, visualize the things I am explaining here so if you go to the civil 3d interface on your left top you will see a big C here in some versions you will see a, a big A here or oh, depending on the version you will see different kind of icons here but we call this application menu so if you click this application menu you will get so many things in the application menu like open a new draw new template open a new drawing when open an existing drawing save drawing save as drawings export publish print and so many things and also if you have anything to search related to a command or something you can use this area to uh, search that thing so for example if i more learn about the move command you will get many things related to that one from here apart from that you will see a list of recent drawings in this area so this is what you do with the application menu after that you have this area which relates to quick access toolbar where we have some icons uh, which is used to quickly access certain things like undo redo plot and publish uh, in mobile options and save open drawing open new drawing likewise so that is about quick access toolbar again after that one you have this workspace selection area currently my workspace is civil 3d so when you have in you are in civil 3d workspace you will see most of these icons home tab insert tab and this area so if you change this workspace to like drafting and annotation it will be completely changed to a different interface so if you are familiar with autocad this is the autocad drafting environment so that is how to use various workspaces in civil 3d uh, apart from these two you have 3d modeling and planning analysis so since we are doing work with civil 3d workspace i am moving on to the civil 3d workspace so that is civil 3d workspace then we will understand the ribbon this whole area we call it the ribbon so in the ribbon we have so many data which we will be using uh, while doing various tasks in civil 3d in civil 3d we have in the ribbon we have so many tabs home tab insert tab annotate tab modify tab likewise so on each of these tabs we have something called panels so we call this panel palette panel then we call this part create ground data panel this is create design panel this is profile and section views panel likewise in various tabs we have different types of panels right so on each panel you have different options like with this drop down menus this is for creating points then this is for creating surfaces and feature lines alignments likewise you can do so many things using the items in this uh, design panels in the uh, home tab so in civil 3d latest version you will see project explorer and grading op optimization two sections here but if you are using older versions like 2020 21 you might need not see these options after this one directly you will see this create ground data panel then you have this tool space area here we have the tool space this is called the tool space area so this tool space area you will have four tabs prospector settings survey toolbox so these various sections tool space survey the settings and prospector do uh, you will be used for various tasks while using civil tree so after that you have at the bottom model and layout tabs model tab will be the one we are working with and the layout tabs will be used when we are plotting the drawings and then after that we have this uh, status tab area where you have the uh, drawing uh, snap settings and auto 
or uh, polar tracking things that is more or less similar to the AutoCAD settings we are uh, seeing in AutoCAD interface. Then you have this drawing scale area where we can use the, we can change the drawing scale while we are working. And in this right side, you have the transparent commands where you will be using them while using with other commands in Civil 3D. Then you have this our drawing area where we work with and where we see everything what we are doing while we are using the civil 3d commands and everything then we have the most important thing in civil 3d like in autocad the command area where we type our commands and inputs uh, to do most of the things in civil 3d then we have at the top we have this information area where you can access so many uh, data like uh, search area and we have you can have the your sign in Autodesk account details and some other shopping details and additional things where you can uh, get more things about get to know more things about Civil 3D and another one more thing in Civil 3D is the contextual tab which is an additional part in ribbon so this is the ribbon and these are the tabs we already know but if you click on a civil 3d object like here this is a civil 3d point or Kogo point so it will pop up a new tab on the right side it will pop up a new tab on the right side we call it contextual ribbon tab so once you select a civil 3d object it will always pop up this kind of uh, contextual ribbon tab when you press escape it will be disappeared once you select it again it will appear so that is the contextual ribbon tab which includes the uh, special commands or special settings that can be used with the selected civil 3d object so i press escape again so if you want to get more area in the drawing uh, by minimizing or minimizing the areas of these tabs and ribbons you can use click this one so it will automatically shrink these areas so while if you click in few more times you will go to various states of that clicks so once you click once again it will come to the initial setting so you can use whatever the settings suited in your case so that is about the civil 3d interface